let's build an agent that collects information from internet to answer users question to build this agent we are going to use openai swarm framework before jumping into code let me show you a quick demo so that you will understand what you are going to learn from this video let's begin so here is my agent let's ask this agent to provide some information about my youtube channel let's ask this As you can see here, it is able to collect information about my YouTube channel. Here you can see I have around 1000 subscribers and I have published 64 videos. That is correct. Now let me show you the logic behind this agent. So what happens when the user asks a question? So the agent will take the user question and it will try to get relevant documents from the internal database. In this case, we are using Quadrant database. Begin the scene, what happens is the user question will be converted into embeddings and this embedding will be used to retrieve the relevant documents from the vector database. So basically the quadrant vector database will provide us top end relevant documents and the agent will answer the user question based on these relevant documents. But what if the internal database doesn't have enough information to answer the user question? In such a cases, the agent has to use one more tool called online search. So here what happens is the user question will be passed into DuckDuckGo API and the DuckDuckGo API will provide us list of URLs where we can find relevant information to the user question. Then we take these URLs and we feed it into the Gravel for AI framework. So basically what it does is it takes a URL and it will scrap entire text data from the URL. So we will take all the URLs and we'll scrap text data from each and every URL. Then we take this text data and we split them into smaller chunks using semantic text splitter. Basically, we cannot feed the entire text data as it is to the model. So that's why we split them into smaller chunk and we try to retrieve the particular chunk which is relevant to the user question and we'll use that particular chunk to answer the user question. So that is the idea. So here we are using semantic text splitter to split the data into smaller chunks. So after splitting the data into smaller chunks, we have to convert these chunks into embeddings using any one of the embedding model. So after converting these chunks into embedding, we have to store this embedding into the internal database. Basically, we are going to store these embeddings into quadrant vector database. Then it is usual. Once we have enough information in our vector database then we will be able to retrieve the relevant uh, chunks from the vector database and we will be able to provide answer to the users questions so this is the logic behind this agent so uh, let me show you the uh, overview of this logic so <clears throat> when when the user asks any questions the agent first has to look into internal database and if the internal database has enough information then the agent will be able to answer user's question based on the available information. If agent doesn't find any relevant information in the internal database, then the agent will use online search tool. Here what will happen is, we will take the user question and we will feed it into a DuckDuckGo API to collect the relevant URLs where we can find the information about the user question. Then we take each and every URL and we scrap the data from those URLs using Gravel for AI framework. After scrapping the data, we have to chunk them into smaller pieces. For that, we will be using semantic text splitter. After splitting into chunks, we have to convert those chunks into embedding. So here we are going to use dense plus sparse embedding because we are going to do hybrid search here. That's why we are using two models, one for dense embedding and another one for sparse embedding. So after converting each chunk into embeddings, we will be storing those embeddings into internal database. Finally, we will retrieve top n relevant documents to answer the user's question. 
So this is the logic behind this particular agent. Now let me show you the code. So here you can see we have four modules. Let's start from web scrapper module because that is the first step we are gonna do right so here we have three methods so the first method what it will do is it will take a user query and it will return list of urls where we can find relevant information to the user question so for that it is using DuckDuckGo. and in the second method we are doing web scrapping basically what it will do is it will take a URL and it will return the text data which is available in that particular URL. Basically, it will do web scrapping. And here is the main method. It takes the user query and it collects top five uh, URLs. Then from each and every URL, it will scrap the text data and it will return the text data. Let me show you how it works uh, without integration, right? I mean, uh, as standalone module, how it works. So here I have initialized this class and here I'm calling this search online method with this query. So let's run this. So recently I came across this Gravel for AI framework, which is really amazing. If you are working on any Gen AI use case where you want to uh, scrap data from website and this is the library which you should uh, use because it is completely open source and the quality is really good. See, it is able to scrap data from multiple urls okay so this is how this particular module works so after collecting data from uh, urls i mean after scrapping the data from internet what we have to do is we have to split them into chunks right so for that we are going to use this <coughs> custom text splitter module here we have only one method which takes list of documents and it will split them into smaller chunks and it will return the smaller chunks as well as the metadata in the metadata we will be having just the corresponding urls that's it so after splitting the text into chunks we have to store them into vector database right so that is where we will be using this quadrant vector store class okay so here you can see we are using two different modules one for dense and another one for sparse because we are going to use hybrid retrieval i mean we are going to do hybrid retrieval here so here we are initializing the quadrant client so here we are configuring the dense model and if you are using hybrid mode then you have to configure your sparse model as well in this case we are using a split i mean this is nothing but uh, configuring your uh, dimension size those kind of things will happen here and finally here we are creating a collection to store our embeddings okay that's it so here we have a method to add uh, chunks to the vector database it takes list of text id and metadata and it will simply add the chunks into vector database so here is the main method which is get relevant document it takes the user query and the number of uh, documents which you are expecting from this uh, method in this case i have set it to six and it will return id document as well as the url okay these are the three things it will return so these are the two methods which we are going to use from this particular class so now coming to the main method so this is the main search tool here we will be using the web search class uh, custom text splitter class as well as the quadrant vector store here we are initializing those three modules and here is the main method okay so it will take the user query and it will scrap the data from uh, multiple urls then here we are chunking it using the text splitter then here we are adding it to the vector database using the add documents method finally here we are retrieving the relevant chunk from the vector database using this get relevant documents method so after that i mean if you if you remember this particular method will return a list of dictionary right so we cannot feed this list of dictionary as it is to the model so we need to convert this into text so that is what we are doing here okay so this is the main method which our agent gonna use okay now let's look at the agent so first we are importing agent module from this form then we are uh, importing load.env just to load the uh, environment variables and then we are importing run demo loop from the form this is just to run our agent 
and finally here we are importing the search tool which i showed you uh, some time back right so first you need to create a env file and add your api key then this particular line will take care of loading your uh, environment variable and here we are initializing our search tool and we are going to use the search tool to build uh, tools for our agent okay so this is these are the two tools which we're going to use so let me tell you what this tool does so this search internal database it takes a user query and it retrieves top five relevant documents or top six relevant documents from the internal database and it will provide those documents to the agent that is what this search internal database tool does and search online tool it will take a user query and it will collect information from online and it will provide those information to the agent so these are the two tools our agent gonna use okay now let's look at the instruction so if you look at the instruction then it will be very clear why we have these two uh, tools let's read this you are a helpful assistant tasked with answering user queries by first checking the internal database first the agent has to check the internal database okay then if the information is not available there only then you should search online if the information is not available in the internal database then only the agent uh, uh, go to online and search for information okay additionally when providing answers from online sources you must include the url or source details okay and this order must be strictly followed so why we are instructing the model in such a way is for example, let's say uh, I'm asking about my YouTube channel and the agent doesn't find any information in the internal database. So what will happen? It will go to internet and it will collect information. Finally, it will store that information in the internal database and it will be able to answer based on the collected information. Now, if I ask any follow up questions, again, it should not go to online and search for information because already it has collected enough information about my YouTube channel and it has stored in the internal database right so again you shouldn't go to online first it has to check the internal database if the information is not available then only it has to go to online and look for information so that is why we are instructing the model in this particular way now coming to the main part so this is how we can create agent using swarm framework we are using this agent module which takes a name which is it can be anything okay basically this is uh, the name of your agent and it takes the instruction which is nothing but the system prompt and functions so this is where you have to pass your tools so this agent gonna use these two tools and finally uh, what model this agent has to use so in this case i'm using gpt 4 mini so finally we can run this agent using this run demo loop so let me show you how it works again it is downloading the model yeah it is now so who is the ceo of open ai so this time it tries to get information from internal database but it couldn't find that's why it is going to online and it has started scrapping details from internet so as you can see here it takes very less time to scrap the data but it takes more time to add those data into vector database the reason is we are running the script in a cpu okay if you are running this uh, in a gpu then it will be very fast so let's wait for some time okay it has added all the chunks to vector database now it is retrieving the relevant chunks from the vector database so here is the answer the current ceo of openai is sam altman okay so that's it that is how you can build an agent using swarm framework